reason? I don't know. So it's going to be Marjorie Taylor Greene. She got kicked out of the caucus, and she's buddies with uh, Kevin McCarthy, and none of the other Republicans like her for that. You've got uh, Lindsey Graham, scared to death, uh, crying on television, and then you've got Walting Nauta, who I think is just believing everything Trump's telling him, and he's going to end up with a pocket full of legal bills after he's got time in prison. So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, how can these people keep going? And, and what is it that uh, this uh, unending greed? Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene is making a nice salary in Congress. She's got amazing health care. She's got uh, publicity. She's got fame. Her office is paid for. I mean, it is a plum gig. And uh, she's not going to lose it. And uh, so then uh, you've also got... Uh, Lindsey Graham, who's been riding on that same meal ticket for all of his life, and now it looks like all that's coming to his end and his secrets are about to be spilled. Yeah, he's desperate. Walting Nauta, innocent guy, has done criminal things because he's an innocent guy. You know, I don't mean he's innocent of the crimes. I mean, he's uh, a little spiritually innocent and then just believing that this rich man would never let him fall. He's his best friend. He's right next to him all the time. Yeah, you would listen, better listen to Michael Cohen. He says... No, you're going to be left with a bag full of legal bills uh, and time in prison. Let's see what the cards say. It's amazing what these people uh, get away with. This is the, these are the coolest cards, and if you wait till the end of the video, I'll tell you all about them. But it's just they're, they're just amazing uh, cards, and uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, like I said, if you wait till the end. Can you see that in there? But um, yeah, these guys, uh, or these women and these men, uh, Walting Nauta, Lindsey Graham, and um, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Gosh, it's insane. I mean, I don't like it when things in my life get a little complicated. Uh, when there's a mix-up at the grocery store, you know, that's stress. So I can't imagine how these people are uh, except Waltine maybe he's living in some kind of fool's paradise and thinks this rich man is paying his bills for him and, and gonna look out for him and he's got another thing coming so let's ask about those three see if we can get to the bottom of their stories and uh, but before before we do any of that let's have just a moment of meditation So we'll start with the MTG, Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene. So just uh, uh, she was a fitness instructor. She had a fitness uh, business, you know, where they have all the equipment in there and you go in and you're tights and you got mirrors all over the place. Wow, she must have been in paradise to walk into that place. She got to look at herself all the time in all the mirrors. She was staying physically fit. She got to act like a coach or a little boss in there. I'm sure that was paradise. And now she found out how to become famous and make a lot of money and not have to really work for it. So uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, what can we ask about her? Well, let's see in three cards, is she going to suffer consequences for her bad ways? You know, is she going to get uh, convicted? Is she going to be prosecuted? Is she going to face legal action somehow, sometime over all of this stuff eventually ever? I mean, that's just a very general question. Let's see what the cards say about that in three cards. Will she ever face them? comeuppance somehow legally for any piece of this not, not necessarily all of it but any of it so the first card then and remember this is a circus sideshow uh, tarot so this should be pretty interesting first card that comes up five of pentacles being left out in the cold i mean that tells the whole story right there pentacles are value pentacles are worth pentacles are you know just the basic and uh, and so she gets this five of pentacles which in the end is being left out in the cold so is she going to face legal comeuppance this doesn't look good next card uh the moon 
And what is the moon card? The moon is secrets being revealed. So uh, she's going to feel left, left out in the cold and secrets are going to be revealed. You don't have to be psychic. Uh, the last card is, uh, wow, the tower card. <laughs> no, you don't have to have any special abilities whatsoever to understand what these cards mean. So the tower card is the end of the, the journey and it's a complete destruction. Of course, what happens afterwards is a new beginning, but you know, this is emphasis on the bad. So she's going to face legal consequences. She's going to be left out in the cold. Uh, all the secrets are going to be revealed and it will be a destructible situation. Yeah, destructible situation. Um, Let's do the same thing quickly with Lindsey Graham. And then we'll go back and do all three again. We'll do all three uh, for this question. And then we'll do all three again uh, for some other reason. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't made up my mind. So Lindsey Graham, is he going to, are there going to be legal consequences for Lindsey Graham? You know, not just that he's going to court because he's already been going to court. He's already got that. But, you know, is he gonna, is there going to be suffering for Lindsey legally uh, in the end? You know what I mean? Will there be a price paid? in effect for for his bad doings. I mean, we don't have to name them. They're uh, too numerous to lay out actually. So Circus Sideshow Tarot, Lindsey Graham, will there be legal comeuppance for him? First card, King of Wands. Ah, this is very interesting. This uh, makes me think of something, but I'll, we'll see how the rest of the card goes, uh, the draw goes. But King of Wands, Wands are action plans, forward movement. And uh, this guy, this King of Wands, he's directing the movie, okay? He looks like he feels like he's got the plan, he's got the action, and he's going to tell him uh, how this is going to go. So maybe this is how Lindsay, I, you know, I could stretch my imagination to say this could be Lindsey Graham. Uh, King of Wands, King of Actions, King of Plans. The, um, oh, this is interesting. So the next card up is the Ace of Swords. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The Ace is a great big offer of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And uh, Truth looks a little beat up here. There's a bandage here. He's scarred. Um, this tree is hiding itself. Uh, it looks like tears almost in the sky. And so Lindsey Graham, he's uh, the, the king of action, but uh, the truth is taking a beating here somehow. And that can't be good. And then the last card is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is uh, all-knowing. She has all the answers. And uh, the High Priestess uh, stands for good and the best and, uh, and uh, you know, managing things to a, to a, a generous, nice outcome. But for me, it also uh, means uh, justice. So yeah, he's got a plan. Uh, truth is going to take a beating. But in the end, I think uh, some sort of a natural uh, resolution that you would expect, which to me means justice, is going to happen. Then Walt Nauti Nauta will do quickly on him because this poor guy, I don't know, my conscious self just tells him he's gotten railroaded into a situation he was not prepared for in any way, shape, or form. And he's going to... So now will he suffer legal consequences? These two cards wanted to come out. I'm going to take them. And uh, one here. I don't usually like to take the cards when they stick like that, but uh, we'll see what happens. So Walteen Nauta. Okay, two of cups. Okay, cups are compassion, emotion. Um, and then this two of cups is like a celebration, a joining together, you know, almost like a marriage or lovers. So it, cups is considered like hearts. So two of cups, um, this is a very uh, unioning uh, uh, omen here. Uh, so is he really uh, tied to Trump? The next card up for will he, oh, is the hermit. And then, and then there's isolation and introspection and, and trying to determine which way and how's the best way to step forward when it's such a precarious situation. And look how scared this hermit is. So this is going to be a reckoning that's going to happen. And then the last card for Waltine, is he going to, will there be legal uh, consequences? You know, the page of cups, the cups are a compassionate uh, card. The page is bringing a message and there's a little surprise there. And it could be that he eventually gets some sort of a compassionate offer that even though he's made missteps in the, I think eventually he's going to come over to the side of, okay, this is what I know. And this is what happened. And I didn't mean to do bad stuff but I knew it wasn't right. Yeah. So now let's do a, a full Celtic cross to see um, how justice is going to handle uh, these three people. So how is justice going to come around for us? This will be very interesting to see if the cards can address something uh, quite so broad. So how will justice for these three uh, very different but very similar situations, they're all 
uh, Trump uh, loyalists. Um, and that's the downfall. So full Celtic cross uh, for that. So six cards. One, remember I'm going to talk about these cards in a minute. And so you can see more of them. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, I mean, that helps a lot. It makes a big difference. And thank you so many of you who've already subscribed. I've, I've got a modest channel, but it's really amazing to me how many folks are watching me. So I do six, I'll do another four at the end of the six, and that'll be the full Celtic cross. Okay. Signifier card for justice. Uh, how will justice prevail against specifically these three? Oh wow, the king, the queen of wands. So there's a plan. Justice is the queen of wands, and justice has a plan. But it's interesting. At the same time, there's three figures uh, here, and uh, so you've got justice right here, and um, and then all around her, you've got uh, two lions. This could be uh, the politicians, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lindsey Graham, and then you've got a little. Uh, cat or a puppy dog down here something very tame that's just very trusting of its owner and a big surprise so the queen of wands uh walt uh for these three this is waltine yeah so justice uh is gonna have control here as a queen of wands uh wow and then the next card the the difficulty for justice is government the hierophant is how things are run the the system or the basis by which an organization or a group or a thing is run and you can see that justice right here, the Hierophant, uh, is the challenge to, um, to the Justice Department. That's interesting. Okay, the basis of this whole thing is, ah, is that Hermit again. And so this is just being very careful about the next step you take and making sure you have the plan. And there's nothing that looks like it's a particularly good choice for these three. We're not talking about the big guy. We're talking about Marjorie, Lindsay, and um, Walt, Waltine. In the past of this, well, that's the Ten of Cups. It was, a, it was a joyride. It was great. Money was coming in. It was happy family. Everything that you wanted to see, but that's gone. That's in the past. All three of these people had been on a bit of a joyride, and uh, but it's it's coming to a reckoning. It looks like in the sky, this the best you can hope for is the Queen of Swords, and that's that justice, truth, justice rules the law. Doesn't come down as a king, but comes down as a queen, which is a more compassionate. Um, figure of justice. Interesting. The um, likely outcome for the first part of this Celtic cross then is this Page of Cups. Again, the cards are repeating a couple times here, but the Page of Cups is that 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 compassionate surprise that comes in as a message or a suggestion. Four more cards. So justice, it looks like it's going to catch up with them, um, but the Department of Justice and the government, in a way, will be bumping heads. Um, the very um, self of that question, you know, in what way or how, or to what degree, or how will the Justice Department um, deal with these three in particular, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lindsey Graham, and Walty Nauta as the Knight of Cups. Okay, so justice will come in with a compassionate heart. Cups are like a heart. The Knight of Cups is the fighter for his uh, remit. So justice will come in not um, hard. Um, the environment that that'll be in, however, is the Ace of Swords is justice itself having been beat up. Truth, justice, rules, and law having been beat up is the environment that uh, this knight is working in. Uh, the hopes and the fears for all of this regarding these three is again being left out in the cold, the Five of Pentacles. So the, um, the hopes of these three would be not to be imprisoned and to be left out in the cold and the fear if, of them is in fact that they end up being left out in the cold so that's all pretty interesting and then the final outcome uh for all of this is the six of swords moving out of troubled water so okay this is so truth justice rules and law being moved out of troubled water these three that's what's going to happen to some extent they're not going to be hammered into the ground uh, they're going to be dealt with judiciously and may not seem fair perhaps to some of us, but that's what the cards say. I'm beginning to think, uh, no pun intended, that it's very predictable how these things are going to come out. I mean, the cards are just always exactly on spot for what the question is, and it amazes me. But if you don't find it that way, tell me. Make a comment down there and tell me what you want me to read about, because I'll read about that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so this is a very interesting uh, deck that I have now called Mystical Medleys, a vintage cartoon tarot. This is such a cool deck, and I've had it for a little while. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely new, but I've had it for 
maybe a couple, three weeks practicing with it. And uh, the box is amazing. It's a good sturdy box. You'd expect uh, you got a nice uh, perfume, uh, perhaps, in a box like this. And this uh, is artwork by Gary Hall. And uh, this is uh, published, I presume, or distributed at least, by Sterling Ethos out of New York. Okay, very interesting. Minute. What happens is this box opens from the bottom. Okay, so you flip this open, and then you have this uh, creature right here, which I've forgotten the name, but I'll see it in a minute because I'm going to look at the guidebook and tell you about it, and then bring up the example of it on my phone. But uh, so this is how you open the box from the bottom. That opens down. This slides out, and then now what you have is this inner uh, case with a very faint kind of watermark of this uh, animal on the front. If you look inside the case, and I hope you can see it, uh, inside there is a little uh, star, which for me is temperance, okay? Or it could be the star card itself. It's got two cups, a cup in each hand, which is typical of the star card, finding that balance. And uh, so that's, I love it when they've gone to the trouble to include some little secret uh, treasure for you inside the box. Now, inside here, if you take these cards out, inside this box, we have the sun, okay? So the sun card, I hope you can see that too. Okay, and there's a little watermark on this side. There's none on the other side, and I'll show you why that's important. And the other thing that comes with this card, or uh, this deck, are two extra cards, Sad Squirrel and Happy Squirrel, for divination. And the guidebook tells you how you would divine those, and uh, that brings us to uh, the guidebook. So again, this little creature is a very beautifully done kind of book. And um, so if you gave this as a gift, or if you were getting it as a gift, you'd feel very uh, glad uh, that you got it. And it has a nice introduction here, which is speaking to um, Gary's um, um, inspirations uh, to come in, uh, into this. Uh, uh, and it starts out, like so many good stories, it all started with the devil. And that's what that uh, uh, animal uh, signifies here. Um, I've always been fascinated by magic, the cult, and the imagery of the tarot. I own several decks from the fully usable traditional ones to more modernistic, uh, modern artistic ones, and have always dreamed of creating my own in some way. Now, I want to find the name of this little devil here, and uh, so it's going to take me just a minute to read through this, uh, because, gosh, I can't remember Baphomet. Okay, so the creature that we're looking at, then, is uh, the Baphomet. That's what this guy is. So if you put these together... Right here, you see that is the cartoonish uh, depiction of a Baphomet. And let me show you what a Baphomet is. Let's say define uh, Baphomet. And we'll get a picture here. So this is the Baphomet. And this is a, a deity that supposedly the, um, the Knights of the Templar would have... Um, I don't want to say worshipped, but it had an occultic interest in. And so the first card that Gary Hall created was that uh, Baphomet. And then from that, the rest sprung. So let's see. How am I going to do the rest of this? Yeah. Um, now, the cards themselves are a good way. They're uh, easy to use. They fit well in your hand. But the fantastic thing is how beautiful these cards are. This artist, Gary Hall, has a kind of ropey uh, quality to his art, kind of a, uh, a rubber hose kind of a, an effect. If you look at like the arms and uh and so that's his uh, style. And, um, and so the cards are very interesting. It took a little bit of uh, studying them before I felt comfortable using them for divination. Okay. And there's no reason because they do pretty easily, uh, they're pretty recognizable as the Rider Waite system. But still, for whatever reason, maybe I was just so distracted by the artwork. Um, I spread the cards out like this so that uh, if you don't get to see a lot of cards, then at least you've seen them here. And uh, you can decide. Uh, if these are uh, cards that you like and would like to use. I was always curious to see more than just a few cards that a reader would uh, pull out during the presentation. So there we go. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now. <laughs>